Chapter 2 The next day, Bertie overheard Mrs Knightley talking to her, his mum about the party. It was just what he had feared. He was the only boy invited, along with six of Angela's friends. Angela is so excited about Bertie coming, said Mrs Knightley. I think it's so sweet she invited her little boyfriend. Bertie was nearly sick. Boyfriend, yuck! He wasn't Angela's boyfriend. If his friends ever heard about the party, they'd make fun of him for weeks. He wasn't going to that to party, and that was final. If his mum wouldn't think of an excuse, then he'd have to invent one himself. When it came to cunning plans, Bertie was a master. In his room, he searched under the bed for the shoebox where he kept his top secret possessions. He pulled out a notebook and began to write a list. Don't know if you can see that there. Brilliant excuses for not going to a party. One, a crocodile bit my head off and I'm not going to talk to anyone. Number two, I have got a rare disease called partyitis which brings me out in a terrible spot. Three, I had baked beans for breakfast, lunch and supper and I think you know what that means. And then number four, I have lots, I have lost my memory. What party? Bertie read back through it. Brilliant excuse number four. That would do the trick. Now all he had to do was talk to Angela and convince her. Then he would be off the hook. No stinky pinky party for him. Bertie cha- uh, Bertie's chance came on Wednesday lunchtime. He was eating lunch with his friend Darren and Eugene. They were flicking peas at the next table to see if anyone could land one down the back of No All Nick's jumper. Hello Bertie, said Angela, appearing from nowhere. Bertie looked at her blankly. Who are you? he asked. Angela giggled. You are funny, Bertie. Did you get the invitation? Are you coming to my party? You are, aren't you? Bertie frowned. Party? What party? Silly, you know my pink party. Pink party? Ha <laughs> ha! hooted Darren. Bertie's going to a girl's party. Bertie shot him a look. Sorry, I don't remember any party, he told Angela. I've uh, lost my memory, you see. Gosh, said Angela, how? That's just it, I can't remember. I I must have had a bang on the head. Oh, poor Bertie, cooed Angela. Eugene and Darren exchanged uh, uh, glances. Poor Bertie, they mimicked. Angela put her hands on Bertie. Bertie drew away quickly. Never mind, she said. The party's at my house on Friday. We're having a bouncy castle. Have a nice time, said Bertie, loading more peas onto his spoon. Angela stamped her foot. You've got to come, Bertie. Laura and Maisie are coming and I've told them you're my boyfriend. Eugene gurgled and slipped, slipped off his chair. Bertie stared hard at Angela, as if she looked faintly familiar. Sorry, what did you say your name was again? Angela gave a howl of rage and stormed off. Bertie heaved a sigh of relief. It had been a close call, but he had thought that he'd got away with it. Later that evening, Mrs. Knightley called to see his mum, sensing trouble Bertie hid in his room. But as soon as the front door closed, there was a shout from downstairs. Bertie, get down here now! Bertie slumped downstairs. Right, said mum. What's this about you losing your memory? Bertie stared at his feet. Um, yeah, it, it just seems to keep, um, going. Really? So you don't remember Angela's party and her invitation? Bertie knit his brows together. What invitation, he asked. Mum folded her arms. That's a pity because there's a film that you wanted to see at the weekend. I expect you've forgotten about that too. Bertie hadn't. Pirates of Blood Island, he blurted out. He's been begging to go to see it for weeks. Ah, so your memory is working, said Mum. I, um, uh, I remember some things, but I forget others. Mmm, said Mum. Well, don't worry because... I've marked the party on the calendar to remind you. She pointed to the Friday the 8th. It was ringed in red. See there? And Bertie? Yes, I, said Mum, will not forget. Bertie slunk out of the kitchen. He knew he was beaten.